happy thursday everybody hello it's angel here again with five more parenting hacks let me first say if you're new to my channel and it's your first time seeing me hello and if you're returning thank you so much for returning um make sure whoever you are whether you're new or you've been with me make sure to like comment and uh share and subscribe for more videos so we're i'm back with my five parenting life hacks and today wait let me first say that these are coming at you every thursday so today we're going to be talking about incentives because we have to give our kids rewards i don't know if that's good or bad but we do so with that being said, let's get started. Y'all know I still have my editing issues, so I'm gonna try and make this quick. So um, for incentives, you want to post their incentives either on their wall, as you see there, or in their special notebook. This I got for my daughter Zatara from the Z Show, and I got it from Dollar Tree, and it was a dollar and she writes all the special mommy notes and everything like that in here so i have it on her wall but she also keeps her incentives in her notebook so um that is not that wasn't hack one that was just a side note before i get started with the hacks make sure that you have them keep these incentives so you won't have to keep telling them what the incentives are so hack one um, if they complete their homework without being told and they get most of their answers on their homework in your opinion if they get most of them correct I would say about 80% but you be the judge use your own judgment if you feel like they got most of them correct then incentive one is dessert after dinner so in other words if you have 10 homework questions and you only get two of them right or if I had to remind you or tell you to do your homework you don't get no dessert after dinner because as far as I'm concerned you haven't earned it now two hack two incentive two um, if they get all of the answers right on their homework without being told not only do they get dessert but they also get candy if your child likes candy you can get them even from the 99 cent only store from the Dollar Tree they have bags of assorted candy or different various types of candy chocolate whatever is cool with you but um, for your kids to eat so they get candy and dessert for getting all of their homework answers right without having to be told hack three incentive three if they go above and beyond so they come home without being told they do their homework they get all or most of their answers right on their homework and then they go above and beyond what does above and beyond mean in my household above and beyond means and I'm looking over here at my notes as usual um, above and beyond means extra work so I have my daughter um, I give her a word of the week each week and it's a long word like regurgitate for example so her word of the week she has to say it spell it give the meaning and use it in the sentence so she'll come up to me and say mom um, a seagull regurgitates uh, food into their baby chicks mouth boom what is what is what does regurgitate mean it means when you bring something back up like food when you bring it back up and throw it up and then she'll spell it okay so that is one example of above and beyond another example of above above and beyond is typing your kid could be three years old and learning how to type is something that's positive that they can do and eventually it would benefit them in their career or in high school or whatever to be able to type faster there are free um, uh, typing lessons 
specifically for kids on Google. So I'm not going to give you any specific one or the name of the website, but if you Google free typing lessons for kids, it'll bring up pages of free lessons. And like I said, even if your child is as long as young as three years old, six years old, nine years old, they can start learning how to type now. Why not? That's another example of a kid going above and beyond doing a typing lesson, um, helping their siblings with their homework. If you have multiple kids, you got the oldest one, they're done with their homework. They completed most of their homework, you know, with correct answers or whatever they can, they can help their little sisters and brothers. Um, another example of going above and beyond is reading one chapter. So, I know if your kid is younger, let's say two, three, four years old, they may not be at the reading chapter level. Cool. Read one page. Read two pages. Whatever book it is that your child is able to read, challenge them to read every day. So that's another example of going above and beyond. But things like that, that is above and beyond just doing your homework and what um that's the third incentive slash hack and what they get or my daughter gets in return for that is dessert candy and 30 minutes of tv slash game time so if you want to watch powerpuff girls for 30 minutes if you want to watch one of your movies for 30 minutes or she has a wii so if she wants to play 30 minutes of video games cool as long as you gave me that above and beyond first now fourth incentive slash hack is um their bedroom chores complete bedroom chores means straightening up their bedroom so not necessarily hard scrub on you know scrubbing stuff but straightening up so if you got out of bed and didn't make your bed this morning make your bed if you left clothes on the floor pick up your clothes, put them where they go. Um, if you were playing with your toys and you left some toys on the floor, pick them up, put them away. Just making your room nice and neat. That's one aspect of bedroom chores. But there are other aspects of bedroom chores such as making sure you're prepared to go to school tomorrow. So your clothes need to be picked out. If you have your kids ironed, then they need to be ironed. Your backpack needs to be with your folders and your binders in it, ready to go. Bath, shower, whatever have you, prepared to leave tomorrow. So in other words, tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning or whatever, the only thing you should have to do is eat your breakfast and put your clothes on. And make your bed once you get out of it. And brush your teeth, you know bedroom uh, bathroom stuff but other than that your clothes should be ready to go your shoes should be ready to go your backpack should be ready to go bedroom chore that's part of your bedroom chores during the school year so that's hack for incentive for and what they get for that the incentive is um, they get dessert candy 30 minutes of game or TV and 30 minutes of playing outside so in other words, until all that stuff, stuff is done, your homework needs to be done, your above and beyond needs to be done, you got most of your homework questions right, and, and you need to be prepared to go to school tomorrow, prepared, then you can go play outside. But not before that. If your clothes ain't ready for tomorrow, no, you ain't playing outside. If you got, like I said, two of your homework questions right, no, you ain't you ain't playing outside. You uh, apparently, since you only got two answers right, apparently you need to st spend more time in the house studying. Okay, hack five, incentive five. Once we got all the other stuff out the way, then other household chores. Outside of your room, outside of your spot in the house, your bedroom, and getting ready for tomorrow, um, if you put the dishes away after dinner if you come in the kitchen with me and help me cook um, like I said help helping your siblings 
if you have multiple kids helping your siblings get get their stuff ready for tomorrow help your little sister or little brother make their make their bed something like that reading a chapter with them of their book anything outside of your space that you help around the house taking out the trash um you cook depending on how old your kid is they if they old enough to you know stand over the stove or the microwave if you want to cook dinner that's fine that and what that gets you is again hack five and send five you get the dessert the candy 30 minutes tv time 30 minutes um playing outside did i get those wrong I think I messed up somewhere. I hate it when I do that. I always mess up my notes. Anyway, um, oh, that's what it was. You get 30 minutes TV or game time, 30 minutes um, playing outside, and then another 15 to 30 minutes of whatever you want to do. So whether it's TV, game, playing outside, or if you have a smaller child, playing with your toys. So you get... 15 to 30 minutes depending on you know your child's bedtime and what time in the evening it is that night because we have stuff to do so you get 15 to 30 minutes of kids choice time that's what I call it kids choice so let me go back through those real quick first incentive um, completed homework most of it right without being told that gets you dessert second incentive um, getting all your homework right without being told gets you dessert and candy third incentive third hack um, is above and beyond so anything extra work extra work um, such as word of the week typing helping siblings reading a chapter reading a page whatever depending on how old your kid is they get dessert candy 30 minutes of TV or game number four um, incentive and hack uh, be your bedroom chores complete you're ready to go to school tomorrow um, that gets dessert candy 30 minutes TV or game um, 30 minutes playing outside five other household chores gets uh, gets you dessert candy 30 minutes TV or game 30 minutes playing outside 15 to 30 minutes of kid choice but you know what Yes, I got to switch positions on y'all. I have a bonus. Yes, so my bonus is really a challenge to the parents this week. Um, first of all, let me say this. No, let me just say the bonus. The bonus is find one thing about your child or children every day this week that you delight in makes you feel delighted to know that about your child find one different thing every day this week about each child the reason I say that that is because I want to leave y'all with a, a Bible verse um, it's Proverbs 312 it says for the Lord reproves him whom he loves as a father the son in whom he delights so I take that to mean delight in your child because God delights in me I'm God's child he delights in me and he wants me to de delight in my child so the challenge the parenting challenge this week is to find one thing that makes you feel delighted to know your child delighted to be a parent every day this week and i want you guys in the comments to comment at least one thing right now comment one thing about your child that makes you feel delighted i'm gonna go ahead and leave that one one thing in the comment um, and I want you guys to do the same we can all find one thing so without making this video too long y'all be blessed be sure to like subscribe 
and share hit the button right now I also want to remind y'all that I'm having a giveaway so um, once I hit 25 subscribers so make sure you hit the subscribe button right now and leave that comment one thing that makes you delight in your child God bless y'all and be blessed thanks for watching